<laughs> What's up, everybody? Take a seat, soldier. <laughs> well, this is a worrisome setup. Don't tell me I... I did my chores too fast again. <laughs> I know, I'm sorry. I just get so excited when those scuff marks come off the floor. Just can't seem to... Ah, this is already off to a bad start. Wait. I didn't say that I haven't seen another one of your favorite childhood films from the 90s, right? I keep reminding myself to just smile and nod, but... No, this isn't another Goofy Movie situation. This is serious. Slightly more serious. Okay, so what is it? This is an intervention. The dad jokes are out of control, Axel. You've got a problem. Uh, dad jokes? You know, like, it's, ugh, can a kangaroo jump higher than a house? <laughs> of course, because houses can't, can't jump. jump. Yeah, all right, point taken. I'll just get some new material, I guess. No, 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 you just need to stop doing them all together. These jokes are super lame. Yeah, but like, lame in a cool way, right? Mm, nah. I've got to say, they're even lame by lame dad standards. I don't even see the appeal in telling jokes that aren't funny. It's supposed to be ironic, I think. Like it's so unfunny that it goes full circle and becomes funny again? Seems inefficient. Ugh, and worse, annoying. I know there was a time when dad jokes became cool or whatever, but that time is not now. We're just doing this because we care, Axel. It'll be better for you in the long run. I guess you guys know more about this stuff than I do. But it does beg the question, why are you the arbiters of what's funny? After all, when does a joke turn into a dad joke anyway? You know, that's a good question. Well, you see, a dad Wait. joke- When it becomes- No, 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 don't let him finish! A parent. <laughs> no, stop it! You've got a problem. You're addicted to dad jokes. I used to be addicted to the hokey pokey, too. But then, I turned myself around. What does that even mean? I've got to admit, that was a nice setup. But it falls apart under scrutiny because he's not turning himself around, but... He's getting away! Eyes up, everyone. Fan out. I don't suppose anybody wants to hear a joke about construction. No! no. Good. I'm still working on it. Oh, hell no. I didn't realize it had gotten this bad. How long has this been going on? I guess you could call it a chicken and egg scenario. You mean, which came first? I'll let you know. I just ordered both online. Oh, uh, you stop. Guys, we've got to get him to stop. It's scientific fact that dad jokes are contagious. If we don't shut him down, we'll all be telling them. Dear God. Permission to use lethal force? Granted. Wait, maybe we can beat him at his own game. By telling dad jokes with a straight face? I'd rather die! No, there's nothing that kills a dad joke more than fumbling the punchline. <laughs> Watch. Hey, what do you call cheese that doesn't belong to you? Not your cheese. Huh? Uh, huh? Yeah? Oh, I made a pencil with two erasers. It wasn't a functional pencil. It was pointless! Pointless! Come on! Get him! Did you know I could cut down a tree using only my vision? I saw it with my own eyes! I tried to catch the bug, but I missed! I used to hate facial hair, but then it grew on me! Don't listen to him! It'll spread! Can one bird make a pun? No! But two can! <laughs> this? This will be for the best. <laughs> two can. Hope you enjoyed that episode of Red vs. Blue. If you want to see more of our content, head on over to Rooster Teeth where you can find more of this show and others. Got live action, animation, podcasts? Hmm, maybe I should start my own podcast. I'm sure some people out there want to learn more about the importance of a well-kept lawn. No, they don't. No one wants that. Hey! <laughs>